one. Hello, this is a new YouTube. My name is Kiana, and I'm going to be reading, like, love stories. I think I'm only going to be able to get, like, two of these chapters in today, because it's, like, a short period of time. But this is a new YouTube, and I've seen a girl online reading stories and stuff, so now I'm going to read stories, because I like to read stories. <sighs> okay, let me start reading. Jayla is a 13-year-old girl and A-plus student who was in middle school, 7th grade, okay? She lives with her father and her brother, Jalen, who is 18 years old. Jayla never met her mother considering she died from having her soul. Sometimes she blames herself for that. Oh. But one day, Jayla meets Crescento August, who is 18 years old, 5 years older than her. When they start to date and Jayla keeps it from her father and brother, who have always been overprotective of her. They they find out will they find out if if so what would they do? Oh I'm so slow. So so good. So far so good. See this is what I mean by it only I can only do a certain amount. I'm wasting time talking about it. Jayla point of view. Jayla Jayla, get up, I heard my dad say as I opened my eyes and looked at him, and he smiled. It's time to get up, he said. I sighed and rolled my eyes. I sat up. All right, I'm up. I said, all right, I'll be downstairs. Come down when you're ready, he said. I nodded, and he walked out of the room. I got out of bed and walked into my bedroom, bathroom, and took a quick shower. Once I got out, I dried, my off. <laughs> I dried myself off and threw on some sweats and a graphic T-shirt. My shoes and a hoodie. I mean, I'm just going to school and I need to get fancied up like other girls wearing dresses and all that. I'm more like a tomboy. I grabbed my backpack and walked down the stairs and into the kitchen where my dad and brother were. Okay, let me just say this. Whoever wrote this, um, start capitalizing more and putting more periods and commas in here because I don't need this around. Hey, sis, my brother Jalen said, hugging me. We were really close. Sup, bro? I said, you hungry? He asked. I shook my head. Nah, I'm going to start walking. What? I'm going to start walking to school. Love you guys. I said, about to walk away. But I, my dad grabbed my arm and looked at me like I was crazy. No, Dad, I can't. I can walk. I'm fine. My school is just up the block. He, I said, he shook his head. No. Nope, you're only 13. You're still a little girl. You don't need to be out there walking by yourself with grown men staring at you like you're some type of what now? Or something. He said, I sighed. Really, Dad, I'm wearing sweats and a hoodie. Why would they want to stare at me? I said. Whatever, Jalen, your brother's taking you to school, and that's that. Goodbye. He said, I rolled my eyes. This is exactly what I hate about my dad. He's so freaking overprotective, and don't think my brother isn't because he is too. You okay? Come on, sis. Jalen said, I sighed and walked out of the living room and outside and got inside of Jalen's car. He got inside the car and started it up and drove off. And guess what? It only took like two minutes to get there. It's only like three blocks away. He pulled up to the school and I took off my seatbelt. Bye, sis. Have a good day at school. He said. I smiled and gave, and gave him a hug. You two rode by. I said, getting out of the car. I didn't hear the engine start up or him drive off, so I turned back around to see him staring at me. I sighed. Okay, go. Bye. I yelled. He, he sat there. I rolled my eyes and walked inside the school into my locker. Jayla, sup, girl? My friend Melina said, walking up to me with her boyfriend, Torian. Torian, that's a really unique name. Sup, girly? I said, because Melina compared to me me she was a true curly girl okay i think i'm only gonna make it through one chapter i think because i read slow and i keep talking so jayla torrent said giving me a hug Ow. hey torrent i said i grabbed my book books out of my locker i'm gonna get to what i'm gonna get too close can't wait till school is over I didn't make any sense. 
I said they nodded. Okay, see you at lunch, Melina said. All right, I said, then walking off to class once I entered and went, I went and sat at my seat. Hey, what's up, Jayla? Nathaniel, this guy who has has always had a crush on me since first grade, said, hey, Nathan. I said, wow, you're finally talking to me. He said, I rolled my eyes. Um, yeah, because you bother me every single day since I met you, so it's kind of hard not to, I said. Wow, that kind of hurt. He said, I shrugged. I really don't care. I said, he sighed. Look, Jayla, why won't you give me a chance? He said, I sighed, because I'm not interested. Okay, now, bye. I said, he looked at me with sad eyes and then left and went to his seat. I know you're like, wow. But then again, I'm the one saving him because if my dad knew I was dating him or anything, he and my him and my brother would kill him, not only him but me. Okay, some real combos up in this ring. Hey, Jayla, wait up! I turned around to see Melina running up to me. I stopped. Hey, what are you you doing walking and? Uh, Alone, she said, shocked. I chuckled. Ha, funny. When my dad called and told me Jalen has football practice, so he won't be able to pick me up. I said, I'll walk, and she nodded. Wow, that's the first. She said, I nodded. Yeah, I know. I said, she grabbed my arm and pointed. Ooh, let's go to the basketball court and watch guys play. <laughs> Sorry, I'm skipping over all the bad words because I can't sing them. She said, pulling me to the court, but I stopped her. No. H no, you know my dad would freak out even if I was one second late to get home, Melina. You know how he is. I sighed. She sighed. <sighs> Whatever. For once, stop worrying about your dad. We're just going to the park. She said, pulling me again. I sighed and mumbled. My dad's going to kill me. She pulled me up to the basketball court. We saw boys play, and none of them were well, that word to me. Why the age am I here? Ew, they're all ugly and sweaty. <laughs> the age of Lena, I can't, I can't believe I'm risking my life for this. I said, pointing at them. She rolled her eyes. Shut up, she said. Hold up. Don't you got a boyfriend, Torian? I said, ooh. She said, what? I, she pointed out. Hold on, she pointed. Look at that guy over there. Look at that guy over there. I had to reread that because it didn't say guy. She said, I followed her ping and I eventually landed on a buff, light-skinned guy with light curls on the top of his head. He had big lips, too, and he was that word. <laughs> I'm skipping over that. Now, this were, now, is this worth risking your life? She asked. I nodded. She laughed again. But he's like 18 or something, way too old for me. I'm like 13 and I'm in the seventh grade. I said, she nodded. I looked down at my phone to check the time. I don't want to be late. Heads up, I heard someone call. I looked up and seen a basketball flying towards me and it hit me on my head. <laughs> Ow! I said, holding my forehead. I looked at Melina who burst it out laughing. <laughs> it's not funny. I yelled, getting mad. She kept laughing. Yeah, that was hilarious, she said. Hey, my bad, Ma. I'm sorry. I took my hand off my forehead and seen the same guy I was staring at in front of me. Oh, oh it's all right. I said he smiled. All right, you good? He asked, touched my forehead. It did hurt, but I didn't say anything. I nodded. Yeah, I'm fine. I said he nodded, still slightly smiling. I looked over at Melina, who was sitting on the bench, no longer laughing. She was smiling like some idiot. Well... I guess I should go now, I said, picking up my bag off the bench. Come on, Melina, I said. I looked back at the guy again, and he was still looking at me. Wait, baby girl, I never got your name, he said. I blushed inside. I was like, ah, he called me baby girl. <laughs> Jayla, I said. He nodded. Pretty name, Uncle Santo. He said. I nodded. Well, since nice meeting you, Santo, but I had to get home. I said, he nodded, all right, and sorry again. He said, I smile. It's all right. I said, he smiled. <sighs> so much going on. Bye. Bye. 
I said he winked at me, then ran back into the court to finish playing basketball. I turned back around and saw Melina staring there, smiling at me. I looked at her and rolled my eyes and walked past her and started making my way home. I was still mad at her for laughing at me. That was embarrassing. Ooh, I see you, Jayla, she said, walking up to me. Whatever, I said. She playfully hit me. Oh, that's so cute. He was all smiling at you and you were all flushing. She said I chuckled and pushed her playfully. Whatever, Melina, bye. I said because I was now home. Bye, boo. She said I walked into the house and closed the door. Jayla, where were you? My dad yelled at me. I'm sorry, dad. I said, where were you? It's 2.35. He yelled. I rolled my eyes. Yeah, and we get out of school at 2.20. What's the big deal? I said, you're 15 minutes late. It does not take that long to walk from school and back home. He said, I sighed. All right, dad. It won't happen again, so please stop yelling. I said, he sighed at me. Hold on. He sighed and looked at me. Okay, Jayla, but don't you ever scare me like that again. You had me worried. I almost, he said, what? I almost, he said, wow, for being 15. Okay, that last part didn't make any sense. He said, wow, for being 15 minutes late, whoop-dee-doo. All right, Dad, okay, I'm going to go upstairs tomorrow if that's okay. Or do you need to walk me up there? I said sarcastically, but I was serious because I knew he would do something like that. No, just go and I'm going to finish making dinner. He said, all right. I said, walking up the stairs into my room, I closed my door and got off and took off my shoes and walked into the bathroom and took a shower. Once I got out, I threw on some shorts and a tank top and my dad called me down for dinner. So I went downstairs and sat at the table and Jaylene and us all... Jalen and us all said our grace, and then we started eating. Hey, so this how school? Jalen asked. I didn't even think about school. I thought about Cassandra. It was good. Did it? Okay. Oh, it was good. It was good. I said he nodded. And you asked. He shrugged. It was all right. He said, what was What's that on your forehead? My dad asked. I didn't place my hand on the spot because Hanto accidentally hit me with the ball on. I felt a bump right there. Oh, um, I got hit with the ball in gym class. I said he looked at me and nodded. Oh, okay. He said, Dad tells me he came home late. Jalen said, I sighed. Yeah, and I said, where, where are you? What took you so long? He asked. I rolled my eyes. Nothing. My locker was jammed and I couldn't get it open. And the uh, principal helped me get it open. I lied. <laughs> I'm a great liar. Right? Okay. Don't let that happen again, okay? And I'm not going to be able to pick you up from school tomorrow again because my football practice again. Sorry, sis. He said, like, <laughs> he's saying sorry for it. I'm getting happy. Okay. I said, I stood up from the table. Well, I'm pretty full and I'm a little tired, so I'm gonna go to bed now. I said they nodded. All right, good night. They said good night. I said back to the. I said back, then walked out of the dining room and upstairs to my room and closed the door and got in my bed and laid down and just thinking about Cassandra that Cassandra got. He was so cute. Let's just say that. But he's my brother's age and I'm 13. Of course, he wouldn't want a little girl like me so why should i waste my time thinking about it i sighed getting a little sad at that thought i turned over and turned off my lamp and lay back down in my bed drifting off to sleep oh take y'all all right that's it i can't do another um chapter but i might do a part two and I'm liking this story so far. And I'm liking this picture right here. It's just too adorable. And check this out. The author. I hope it tells me. It doesn't it doesn't tell me the author. I don't believe. But yep, that's the end of the video. I might do a part two. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh yeah, and if I said uh if I said crescendo and instead of crescento, I'm in band, so I hear that a lot. So sorry. But it's crescento. 
Anyways, bye!